What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fell Road Express. Today on our chat video, we are talking about three games to play instead of Connect Four. So what do you guys think about the game Connect Four to begin with? I mean, tell us your thoughts, Josh. So uh, I don't a stupid topic. I don't think it's that bad of a game, but in the vein of checkers, if you're the first player, you have an a clear advantage. And also there's actually been studies done, it is a solved game, which means that if you are the first player and you play perfect moves, you don't make any mistakes, you will win one hundred percent of the time. Yeah, but saying yeah. that it's a solved game is kind of like saying that a Rubik's Cube is solved. How many Rubik's Cubes cubes have you solved? And how many Rubik's Cubes has the <laughs> average, like, you know, 10-year-old solved? Uh, I've got one back there, too, and it is it is hey. perfectly messed up. It is not solved. I've never held right? a Rubik's Cube in so, my hand. I'm not sure you can be like, yes, it's a, a solved game. But the truth of the matter is that, you know, it, most people are going to still be able to have fun playing it. Yep. They will. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's still yeah. a competitive game. I mean, when you say it's solved, what do you actually mean? Like, I would have to pull up, I need to find an article and I guess I'll link it. What does that actually mean? What because... Josh is saying is that if you play, kind of like tic-tac-toe, yeah. there's specific moves that you can uh -huh. open uh -huh. with yep. uh -huh. that guarantee you to win? that you at the very least cannot lose and Didn't have a higher this? likelihood of winning. Didn't we talk about this in the checkers video? We did. And actually, I read, I didn't read all of it, but there is like a 90 page thesis paper on Connect Four and all the variables that go into it. Thesis paper, and Josh read some of it. I read some of it. And I read enough of it to figure out uh, the winning combination. And really, it's, it's, it's the as long as. The guy that wrote that 90 page thesis paper, he's the guy that was like, pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sneaky, pretty sneaky, just pictures all over his attic. So basically, if if you, the viewers at home, want me to spoil, like if you, as long as you go first and you make perfect moves, all you have to do to win a hundred percent of the time is put your is first piece. Yeah, put your first piece in the very center column. That guarantees you the win as long as you make all perfect moves. He's not allowed at Thanksgiving dinners anymore with the family at the last time when it just gyrating hip thrusts at his sister. Like, what? What? It's a solved game! <laughs> All right, so, I mean, what else do Give you guys think? Give a government grant to solve Connect Four. <laughs> I... Well, what, what's the rest of your thoughts on it? I mean, I know you guys said, hey, it's still, it's still a decent game whether you know it's solved or not. So what else do you think? It seems like it's advanced tic-tac-toe. Name one person that has it yeah. solved, Josh. Just because it exists as a solved game, name one person that has it solved. That uh, you know. I, I don't remember the guy who wrote the thesis paper at all. And, and... <laughs> okay, it's the one guy, just like what Ian was joking about. It's literally <laughs> the one guy. But, okay. I mean, we did have this conversation with the Checkers game as well, sure, that, sure. Uh, you know, it's not necessarily a specific number of moves, but it's a, a strategy as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My strategy is to just dump them on one side and hope that the other person gets cocky. <laughs> All right. Um, so who's got a game that they feel would be a step up or just a better game to play that is also not solved? Oh, wow. This is 91 pages. You found, <laughs> you it. found it. You found Victor it. Victor Alice. Well, there you go. There's, of mathematics. There's could you, could, could you please University. link it? Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, OK. No, that See? explains it. The, yeah, where night lasts for 18 days out of the year or something like that. <laughs> 18 straight days. He was burning the midnight oil for that no, long. No, no. They have to stand in front of a fluorescent light for vitamins. It's long-winded, so, yeah. Oh, is it, Josh? 91 pages? <laughs> oh, he had to cut some out. So? It's the abridged version. 
Yeah, it's the abridged version. But anyway, wait, did you pay, did you pay for the? Is this behind a paywall? Did you pay to no to see this? Oh, okay, no. no, this was published in 1988. What? Was it? Was it that long ago? Yeah. Huh. This is still his greatest achievement. All right. Well, this is entertainment poison. I was just reading a 91 page thing. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dead air. Oh my god. <laughs> just 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 fucking. Just, just play Jenga. Just play Jenga. All right. Set up Connect why, Four, reading a ninety-page thesis on how to beat Connect Four all the time. If I, I, I won't read ninety pages to to beat a game I like. I'm not reading ninety pages to beat Connect Four. Just play Jenga. Okay, why Jenga? Yeah. Because it's a gravity game. It's fun. It's goofy, just like Connect Four with its. With its four colors of like blue legs, a yellow board, and like red and black, you know, little checker things. You you play Jenga with a little wooden box. You know, it's kind of in the same vein in terms of goofy fun games, and it's just it's a lot more fun to do with friends. And you can have more people play. You can have two people play. That's totally fine. Yeah. But you can also have a group play. You can have all these different rules onto it. You can write stuff on the Jenga tiles to do. There's all kinds of weird and different ways to play Jenga that make it way better than Connect Four. And also, I want to disagree with you so hard. Is though that at that at that level, you're saying Kerplunk and like don't break the ice. Freaking love would Kerplunk. Be, <laughs> who would also fall into the same vein because things fall down. Good yeah, game. I know, right? That's funny. That's fun. Okay, but in Kerplunk, you don't write. Like tiny messages on those on those little sh- maybe uh, you oh you were playing it wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe you don't. Now you just put a little QR code on it and go boom boom boom. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to disagree with Sean because I don't like him, but I do like what he's talking about <laughs> with the Jenga tiles and write like writing things on there like. Uh, a musical solo or something like that. It, you always right. can combine it with like a truth or dare thing yeah. or uh, never have I ever. You jump in and never have I ever. Or you can make sexy Jenga. Here's the one thing I don't like about Jenga, and people are probably going to say that they do love this, is that because it's made out of wood, the pieces are irregular. Yeah. And there are some pieces that slide easily and those that are bowed out. And I would like to see jenga made out of i don't know a bunch of machined metal but i understand that would be like 40 pounds of metal falling <laughs> like a but... aluminum jenga? <laughs> a bit of jenga. it would also be very expensive um also yeah. small um, children are already like and then the moment like, you know <laughs> the toddler reaches for one and just compound fractures as the tower falls over on, on a side you note too that means you gotta pick them all up <laughs> or, I, I, I guess I agree with Sean. Plus, you can play the comically large Jenga. Yes, yeah. Jumbo right. Jenga. You can yeah. also yeah, play the true. comically large Connect Four, though. They have those. I actually but have no that. There's no novelty in comically large Connect Four. It's just like dinner plates. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> extremely write. loud too. Like, like I don't even yeah. want to play it indoors. It echoes through the walls. Yeah. The, the other thing is, there's not much that you can do with Connect Four besides play Connect Four. There's nothing yeah. goofy that you can go beyond it. It's you know you write on one side of it that you pay faces towards the other person go fuck yourself and that's the extent of what you can do. I mean, and then once like you play that ship, you walk connect away. Four. I said you it's not like you, you can don't. do Street Fighter Connect Four. Josh, put a link to that video that we did. <laughs> we don't reference those dark days. <laughs> oh god. Um, a side note on Jenga. Yeah, a good video. There's also a role playing game uh, that uses a Jenga tower when it comes to making decisions so it's like it's a horror game and when it comes to uh like oh hey the monster's about to attack what do you do oh well i'm going to get up and run away okay pull a um piece out of the tower so if you pull the piece out of the tower uh successfully then you achieve um whatever it was you were planning on doing and if the tower falls then your character dies cool josh that's not jenga though no, it's not, but it uses a Jenga tower. It's Jenga adjacent. But, uh, okay, so Sean, yours is uh, Jenga. That's better than Connect Core 4. I can agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Um, Topher, you also had one. What was yours? 
I did. It's Zero. It's clearly a superior game yeah. in all aspects. We've done a review on it. Uh, I can't say enough good things about Zero. It's like Connect Four, but it's horizontal and cleanup's easier because hell, it's all random anyway, and you can play up to what eight people. Don't yeah. play Zero this season. Zero, just play. Just watch our video. I love Zero. Yeah, Zero. I have nothing funny to say about it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have anything funny to say about it, except for one thing I will say about Zero that we may have been doing wrong in the past is that you actually legally are not allowed to kill yourself immediately. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds like everybody should know that. <laughs> no, that but, is that is one of the rules. It's, it's, it's that Zero, is really... suicide is illegal. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. And if okay. it's your only option, then yeah, you can totally commit yeah. suicide, but only if you've tried everything else. You know, I think that rule has only ever mattered for Sean. It's it's not a complicated game, and so you shouldn't have forgotten that rule on the one page that the rules are on. Yeah, but here's the thing. I, I have known, you say, Sean, that's the only rule your letter applies to. No, Topher. It means that you also can't hunt somebody down and slam your face into them to kill them and yourself, which you have done. <laughs> <laughs> so Ian's got uh, uh, Ian. What's your game? <laughs> no, okay, so I had one, but now I've changed it. I'm okay. gonna share my screen so that you guys can can witness what is obviously the best answer. Oh God, what's it gonna be? <laughs> it's someone else's YouTube uh... channel. <laughs> oh God, what? Oh, I have to watch the stream. What? What the hell am I oh looking at? Oh my god. Uh, so you've turned Connect 4 into a gravity game, is what you're trying to say. You've turned Connect I mean, 4 into a... It's Nerf. Glasses. Oh god. Yeah, you shoot... You gotta, you gotta shoot them with Nerf guns. What more could you want? I actually I do want to play that. Airsoft. Right? And yeah, if you miss, are you just screwed, or...? Like, you, you get to play Nerf guns, and you get to play Connect Four. Not only that, to, like, but I get to like, shoot Connect Four. Right! And then you get to be like, well, part of it is, like, you know, picking your your move, but then the other part is, like, actually having aim. And it's like, I got you diagonally. Oh, shoot, no, I don't got you diagonally because I, I can't aim. I'm, I'm spray and pray over here. <laughs> uh. This fixes every problem I have with Connect 4. This video is no longer that, legitimate. Remember that chain gun that Nerf released where it was battery Yes! Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So. You ran out of D batteries really quickly. Oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, I do have another game. Um, that I would play instead of Suro, and this is actually one that we just recently discovered. Uh, it's instead been out. Of connect, you mean Connect Four? Yeah, instead of Suro. Instead no, of Connect is Four. Is, Suro, is that what I said? This is now a Suro fan. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. No. <laughs> connect Four. Games to play instead of the game that we were talking about. We just <laughs> one up each other. Like, oh, you know what? Suro is trash. I would play this. Oh yeah. Well, you're no. Gonna... Actually, I I do like Suro. I own a cop. I bought a copy for myself after playing it with you guys. So yeah, I definitely like Suro. What I meant was what I would play instead of Connect game. 4 uh, yeah. would be Hive. Uh, so Hive is a good, simple two-player game uh, in which there is no board, but you have these hexagonal tiles uh, that represent different insects, and these each there's like five different insects. They each have a slightly different movement ability that's easy to remember, and your objective is to surround the queen bee, and you win the game. Topher, you're raising beetle your hand. Beetle grasshopper, beetle grasshopper, queen bee, ant. And spider. spider. Yeah. Yeah. And so... Yeah, actually, we should do that. That's, that's still that's straight up two-player, right? Yeah, two-player, and it's okay. very easy to learn. So it is, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than uh, Connect Four. So, yeah, if you're going to try and play it with your five-year-old, you're going to win. Hey, here's our cross-reference. Um, play it on Board Game Arena. Yep. One, it's free, and two, the game won't let you make a mistake, like a mechanical mistake in the game. It was like, oh, your spider can't move here because yeah. this is exactly how spiders work. It's 
it's great. Yeah, it is. I like I like I still like Sorrow more. Yeah, I, I like Hive, and honestly, if I can, uh, I'll, I'll either find it at one of my um, friendly local game stores, or I'll order it online because I'll I'll actually get that and play it uh, when I have the opportunity. So yeah, those are um, three games, three plus games to play instead of uh, Connect Four. Uh, any Jash, do you got any uh, thoughts on that? You got any games that come uh, to your mind? And that's about the time that our screen recorder just completely cut out. So yeah, those are the three games to play instead of Connect Four. Once again, those games are Jenga, Suro, and Hive. And I guess a bonus would be Connect 4 Blast, as it does kind of take care of the whole uh, Connect 4 being solved issue. So if you enjoyed that video, hope you'll give us a like and subscribe, and check out more videos of board games and video games on the Philbert Express, and also go to our uh, pages on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Check you next time.